Schizotypal Personality Disorder, STPD is a chronic condition characterized by persistent distortions in perception, unusual beliefs, and social withdrawal. Dissociated with dysfunctions in the dopamine system, which regulates the attribution of salience to stimuli, ordinary events are perceived as unusually significant or special. Additionally, disruptions in the connectivity between the prefrontal cortex and limbic system impair the interpretation of social cues and emotional regulation. As a result, individuals with STPD often exhibit magical thinking, paranoid ideation, and emotional detachment, further reinforcing their social isolation. Cognitive processes in people with this disorder are frequently fragmented. The brain may show reduced synchronization among neural networks responsible for integrating sensory information, manifesting as a kind of disjointed thinking, linking, unrelated events, and constructing illogical personal models of reality. Behaviorally, this can appear as odd speech patterns, rituals, or eccentric actions, which are not inherently aggressive, but can form the basis for dangerous behavior when combined with sadistic or antisocial traits. When schizotypal features overlay aggressive tendencies, the brain effectively constructs a parallel reality. Distorted beliefs justify violent acts. An individual may interpret murders or ritualistic actions as fulfilling a mission, while cognitive, dysfunction impairs critical evaluation of their own behavior. In profiling a serial offender with STPD, a critical observation was that his paranoia did not manifest as direct aggression towards specific individuals, but through a complex symbolic logic. He selected victims based on attributes that appeared random to outsiders, but held meaning as signs in his mind. This nuance is difficult to detect. Standard profiling methods often overlook the depth of cognitive distortions present in schizotyping. It complicated the investigation until attention was focused on ritualistic elements in his journals, which neurologists might have dismissed as mere delusions, but within the context of the case proved essential to understanding his logic.